Hi, I'm Only Trails, and welcome to season two. I've decided to make an account that can only train skills or do quests when it's required for a clue scroll. My goal is to get every unique reward from every tier of clue scroll. And later in the end game, I want all the stats and all the items so I can complete every single monster clue. Currently, I'm on hard clues, but after I've completed 100, I will move on to elites. When I've done 50 elite clues, I'll move on to monsters. I might be a dumbass sometimes, but you'll learn to love it. Enough rambling, let's do some clues. Welcome everyone to season two of Only Trails. I'm wearing my beautiful new season outfit. You guys have been missing clue scrolls for I think about five, four to five episodes. You guys haven't even seen many hard clues, so I thought let's start this new season with 10 hard caskets. It is a little less climactic I feel like when it's all stacked, but boom, first one. Holy shit. First one back, this is absolute trash. <laughs> you know what, we're just gonna move on. Nine. 28 sharks, you know I'll take it, but actually disgusting. Actually disgusting, let's be honest. Hello? Did, did hard clues get nerfed while I was gone? Hello? What is this? Can I please get... Okay, I need a break. I need a break. I know I have a lot of alcohols. Not bad, but holy shit, how bad can these hard clues get? Five more? That's not even a unique. Did they nerf hard clues? What is happening? Look at this inventory. I'm quickly going to bank and then open this last three, but is this revenge for the room boots clue? Hey, I didn't even have this page. Wait, hang on. That might be the full Sarah book. Yo, <laughs> yo, it is actually decent. We have complete the Sarah book now. So, you know, you know what? I'll take that, but I'm not happy yet. Where, where are my caskets? All right, three more. Is this some kind of a sick joke? Because I'm not laughing at this. The very last casket. We didn't get one unique from 10 hard clues. So this has to be third age. Oh, you know what? You know what? That's a beautiful... It even fits the outfit. Look at that. I'm actually going to keep this. This is now the new season two outfit. That is a pretty sexy cavalier, not gonna lie. I think the room boots clue got his revenge. 10 clues with nothing in it. <laughs> that only means that this episode I need to open so many more clues. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. But let me first take you through how I got all these caskets. While being on my Slayer grind, I sometimes did a Slayer Wildy task. These tasks gave me two mysterious emblems. With them, I could buy a Ring of Wealth scroll, so I could imbue my Ring of Wealth again. So I did that. My fastest way to get clue scrolls is in the wilderness, killing hellhounds with my cannon. With that Ring of Wealth eye, it is a 1 out of 32 chance of getting a clue scroll. So I actually got hard clues pretty fast, especially when Tholin came in the building. And with these new hard clues, come new requirements. Well, um, I have to play a music track, which is rock and roll, uh, which you get while completing My Arm's Big Adventure. Thing is, I need to complete the feud for that one. So, right, this quest was probably one of the easiest ones ever. <laughs> the feud quest completed. Now to do My Arm's Big Adventure. 15k thieving XP. Not even close to a level. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think this might be the recipe for disaster clue. How am I getting all of these requirements right now? Well, I'm not complaining. I'm going to check, but it's not recipe for disaster, apparently. Apparently, it's Shadow for the Storm. If it is actually Shadow of the Storm, I first need to complete the Golem quest. It is locked. I guess we're going to do the Golem and Shadow of the Storm. <laughs> this is literally the easiest quest ever, but that is the Golem completed. Now for Shadow of the Storm. Yo, that wasn't actually too bad either. We got 1,000 or 10,000 strength XP and the Dark Light, which is actually a massive unlock for the account because now we can actually go and do Skatizo when we eventually go to Elite Clues. Because this is the best in slot for demons. At least the Arc Light is, but I can power this with, um,. The ancient shards. It's a pretty big unlock. Now for the clue scroll, let's see if we can get in here. And otherwise, we might actually have to do recipe for disaster. I don't know. Moment of truth, it's open. But can I actually complete it? Mr. Dave? Gonna give me a new clue, my dude? Boom. Right, I'm getting all my not unlocked clues right now. I have to talk to this guy, but I think I have to complete the Fremnic Isles first. So let's do the Fremnic Isles. <laughs> and that's Fremnic Isles completed. New best in slot acquired. The night is not helmet or night is not. A Anyways, <laughs> it's a great helmet. Let's continue that clue scroll. Hopefully get the room boot step again, please. And then something happened that I've been waiting for for a long, long time. Really? Wait, the center of the abyss. Let me check. Because if this is true, I'm gonna be so happy. Center of the abyss 
Hard clue. Requires the completion of Enter of the Abyss. And Enter of the Abyss gives 1000 room crafting XP. We're gonna get our first room crafting levels. Holy shit, this is massive. Oh my god, I'm so happy. We're going to get our first room crafting XP. Yo! Mr. Slayer music, help me out, dude. Okay, so we got the full scrying orb, completely absorbed with energy, which means we're going to complete the Enter the Abyss mini quest, which also means we're going to get our very first room crafting experience. I'm so happy to see this one go from a one to, I think, eight, if I'm not mistaken, or nine, maybe. Here we go. Get off that one. Get that room crafting out of here. The very first room crafting le- Foles? Hello? Haha, <laughs> there we go. Nine rune crafting. Look at that. We can already craft earth runes. Look at that. Big boy gains right there. And a small pouch. And I don't need the Abyssal book. I think I finally got payback for my rune boots. If this whole episode was not enough yet, if I didn't have to do enough quests yet, this is the one that is going to drive me to the brink of insanity. <laughs> for the people that don't know, this music track is unlocked at the Death Altar, which requires... Partial completion of Morning's End Part 2. Morning's End Part 2 is probably one of the most dreaded quests in Old School RuneScape. But nevertheless, I was still pretty excited to start it. But first, I had to do a couple other quests. Roving Elves, Sheep Herder, Big Chompy Bird Hunting, and Morning's End Part 1. I have no idea how Turanwin only does this every single time. I get lost in these woods 90% of the time. Wait, this quest was so incredibly easy, how is that a master quest? <laughs> Alright, well, let's do sheep herder and big chompy bird hunting, and then we're ready for Morning's End Part 1. Well, someone in the clan chat just told me that the crystal bow is a clue requirement, the crystal shield is not. Big F. Guess I'm gonna have to buy the crystal bow back when I'm at Master Clues. This quest really tested my patience. But there we go, that is sheep herder quest completed. Big chompy bird hunting left to go. There we go, that is big chompy bird hunting completed. Probably no new levels, no. But I have all requirements now for the dreaded Morning's End Part 1. Here we go. Okay guys, this is the Morning's End Part 1 completed. It was not bad, but apparently the Morning's End Part 2 is the horrible part. People telling me I need a lot of prayer pots, people telling me that the puzzle is long, stuff like that. Incredible amount of XP, which gives me 69 thieving. Not gonna make a joke about that, but now we got the big one. Do I need anything else or can I just go for it? Good agility is an advantage. I've been told that this agility is way too low to start this quest. <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. So people have been suggesting me in the in my Twitch chat right now that I need to get these boots of lightness, otherwise this quest is going to be a goddamn pain. So I suggested, or I decided to just pick them up. We don't have a boot slot anyway, so we're full prayer bonus right now with the boots of lightness. This is the outfit I'm rocking. Hopefully it's enough, cuz goddamn it. I'm <laughs> I'm not ready for this. God fucking! Got it. God fucking. You got it. A little bit. The fuck? Come on, God fucking. This is attempt number nine, I think. What? Is that soon? This is it. I feel it. Yes! Easy game. Woo! Look at it. I felt it. I feel it in my fingertips, boys. I knew this was the one. I knew it. I don't know why, but I knew it. I called it. I crossed it. I conquered it. Easy game. There you go, Torgal. All your stuff. Now give me the death talisman. There we go. Use that on this and we got the music track unlocked. Oh my god, that took us a while. Now let's quickly complete this quest and I don't want to see this place ever again in my whole entire life. And that was it. The easiest quest in the game. Okay, no. I spent four hours and 20 minutes exactly <laughs> on both the quests. Now give me my XP. Give me my music track and I'm done forever. Oh my god! Yes! Oh, 58 agility. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We just played the song, and it's already the casket. Personally, I think we deserve a little bit of third age. But that is my opinion. Oh, but it is a unique, it is a unique, and I dig it. Oh, Fletch just came up running. Oh my god, what the fuck? Afro shape? Rune full helm G, I dig it. I dig it, I, I'll take it. It's not... That incredible, but at least it's unique, right? Last episode, I completely forgot to unlock or open the uh, beginner caskets. So we've got seven right now. What do I still need from beginners? Actually, not much. Uh, I do like the sandwich lady top. The jester cape, oof, that'd be sick. Uh, but I don't know what else I still need, so we're just gonna go for it. Boom, I shouldn't expect anything from these. 
Are we actually go we just got one long ball. It's just what the I've never even gotten that. That's disgusting. <laughs> God, two more. We're not going to get a single unique, really? Oh, really? <laughs> I already got those, but you know, I'm not complaining about <laughs> unique. <laughs> you know, I'll take it, I guess. I think this is casket number 12 of the episode, and uh, we haven't gotten anything major yet. I think we got two uniques in the whole episode. It's time for goddamn voice cracks. And after the voice cracks, boom! Uh, we already got that one. What's the rush? As you can see, I have a clue for which I have to enter the Piscator's fishing colony. But I didn't quite realize which quest I needed for that. Wait, what? Is this a quest? No, not that one! Not that one! No! One small favor and swan song. Fuck. After another hour, <laughs> I think we did about 10 hours of questing this episode. That is probably even an understatement, let's be honest. But after a good hour again, we have um, completed one small favor. We've got your red mahogany wood, Mr. Janny. And he's probably going to see something like, that wasn't that hard, was it? Look at this. I mean, it took you so long, I could have gone... Screw you, Mr. Yanni! Screw- What is this? Bano's chest- Get that Bano's chest plate off the goddamn floor! I knew it. I knew it was gonna be bullshit like that. Can I please finish this goddamn quest? There we go. Oh my god. Uh, we can now make Guthix rests. We have two 10,000 XP lamps. I'm not going to use these two lamps, I'm just going to bank them, because I'm eventually going to use them on Herblore for Elite Clues. Right, so apparently for Swan Song, I need a couple of requirements that I don't have yet. One being 62 cooking, the other being 42 fire making. So, I guess we'll have to get that first. I think I do have everything I need for it. Uh, 1,300 lobsters should be enough for 62 cooking. I'm not 100% sure, but it might be. Still have these two antique lamps that I cannot bank, but I'm hoping to use them on Herblor or Slayer, and maybe I'll have to waste them on something else, but we'll see. We'll have to keep it for now anyways. Right, so I'm out of raw food right now. I got 60 cooking. I still need two levels in order to start Swan Song, and I think I'm gonna go to the mess hall, but I'm not sure I'm going to do these last two levels of cooking. This actually wasn't that bad. The mess hall, I think it took me from 60 to 62 cooking about an hour, maybe something like that. I didn't have to do any fishing for it, so that is good. I wasn't allowed to train fishing anyways for this clue, so now we only have fire making left, which I should get 42, I think. Yep, 42 fire making. Let's see if we have the logs for that, actually. No. Um... After 100 times of having to re-log <laughs> because of the log out timer, I have 38 fire making right now. I've been burning these logs on top of the Lumbridge Castle. I'm gonna call it a day for a little bit. How much XP have I gotten? I got 38k cooking and 15k fire making. Tomorrow I'll do the last four levels and then we can start Swan Song. And here we go, the very last log to burn for 42 fire making. I think this took about an hour and a half to get from, what was I, 31 to 42. Let's go. Small miscalculation, I need 10 mist runes for the wise old man here. I thought I had them, but I have steam runes. Now, um, I could get them from Kraken or Water Fiends or Spiritual Mages, but apparently they only take six rune crafting and I can make them at the air altar. So, we're gonna get 10 room crafting today, which is pretty insane. Okay, let's hope we have enough, because it took a while to get that water talisman back. I almost made air runes there. Eight. Okay, that is 10 room crafting, which is pretty big. Base tens. <laughs> let's start Swan Song. Uh, I just had all my fun killing that monster thing, sea troll kraken thing. Ermin, give me my reward. I haven't even seen what the reward was. I'm Pretty, pretty excited. 15,000 magic and 10,000 prayer XP? It's not even gonna get me a level. Yo, and 25k. You know what? Thank you very much. No, I don't. Surgeon, get get the hell out of my face. Is it try runner? Here we go, boom! Holy shit! Double unique? Yeet. All right, lads, I'm going to get a couple more hard clues for next episode, and I'm going to be dodging PKers. But anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because it's only getting better. You know it. Very soon, we'll be able to do elite clues, so hopefully you want to be a part of it. Join the Discord. It's in the description, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Peace.